Hi, Ed Friedland, the Bass Whisperer here once again for Guitar World Magazine. This month we're taking a look at two new basses for Music Man, the Classic Stingray 4 and the Classic Stingray 5. These two instruments are part of the new Classic series for Music Man, which also features a Classic Sterling bass as well. Although this bass has many features of the original Stingray from 1976, it's not a straight reissue model because they've kept some of the modern touches that, quite frankly, have improved the original design. Since the classic Stingray 4 and 5 are very much the same instrument, give or take a B string here or there, I decided to put flat wounds on the 4 string just so you could hear a slightly different tonal character that comes out of the Stingray bass. These are Ernie Ball Group 3 flat wounds and they sound great on this bass. One of the old school features on the classic Stingray is the two band bass treble preamp. There's a misconception about this model. Many people think that it's boost only when in fact it is boost cut, there's just no center detente, so you can't exactly tell where the flat spot in the middle is. You kind of just have to develop a feel for that. It's basically right in the middle. Here's the bass with the tone controls completely off. Now I'm going to roll the bass up to about two. Now we're about the middle. Now I'm going to roll it up to about seven. Now all the way up. So you can hear there's quite a bit of gain available to you. With the bass boosted and the treble completely off, you get this fat, warm, punchy tone that's great for rock or blues. That was with the treble completely flat. Now I'm going to put it up to about two. Now I'll put the treble right up in the middle. When I put the treble up to seven, you'll start to hear that classic Stingray edge. I'm going to put it with some drums so you can hear how that cut really works with the mix. Of course, many people love to just max out both tone controls and run it flat out. Let's hear what that sounds like. I hear a lot of people say the Stingray is a one-trick pony. Well, these folks are just dead wrong because with EQ and your hands, you can get everything from pumping fat reggae to a razor edge slap tone. You can get great rock pick sounds. Great for jazz soloing. So you tell me how this is a one-trick pony.
This Stingray Classic has a beautiful tobacco sunburst finish, and it shows off the grain of the ash body very nicely. Classic Alnico Humbucker and Two Band Preamp. Check out those foam mutes doing their thing. And they put the serial number on the bridge just like the old days. Another old school feature that's made its way back to the classic Stingray is the original bridge design with foam mutes. Uh, here's the bass without the mute. Without too much trouble, you can dial these mutes back up in here, and here's the sound now. Obviously, it darkens it up quite a bit, shortens the decay time of the string, and gives you a nice kind of thumpy punch to the attack. I love it. The Classic Series comes in a bunch of really cool colors as well. This is a mint green. It also comes in coral red, uh, sort of a baby blue, a vintage white, black, and two-tone sunburst. The Classic Stingray 5 is sort of a unique beast in that it's a brand new instrument. When the original Stingray 5 came out in 1987, it featured a three-way position switch and a slightly different shaped pick guard. The controls were mounted onto the pick guard and not on a metal control plate like this. This is essentially a classic Stingray 4 except with a B string. And what a B string it is. Well, they've done it again. The SR5 Classic also has the old style bridge with the foam mutes. Around back we've got new and old features, strings through the body, a chrome battery cover, and a six bolt neck joint. Instead of the Ernie Ball compensated design, we have a standard nut. The Classic Series Stingrays have 21 high profile narrow frets and a 7.5 radius fingerboard. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Classic Series Stingray basses. They've got all the cool factor of the early Stingrays with lots of the modern improvements that make Music Man basses rock solid. Check them out. <laughs>